Hello and welcome everybody to another Outlaws of Thunder Junction Draft. I'm Paul Chion, and currently we are sitting at Platinum 4, trying to figure out the format uh, and uh, see where things go. I haven't drafted a super aggro deck yet. I haven't drafted a super controlling deck yet, but uh, a lot to learn in this format. So let's get into this draft. Before I do though, if you enjoyed this content and wanted to support the channel in another way, I did launch my Patreon channel. Shout out to all the current patrons. I really do appreciate your support. The link to the Patreon is in the description below. That gives you access to the Discord, where right now the Discord is very busy. And it's honestly your best way to kind of get a direct line to me to ask me questions about how you would build your deck. I try to stay as active as possible in that Discord channel. But right now, let's hit ready and draft again. Something nice, we'll see. All right, what do we have? At rare, we have Insatiable Avarice. Black, Spree, Sorcery, Black, Black. Target player draws three cards and loses three life. Or search your library for a card and then shuffle and put that card on top. I don't think this card is very good. Triple Black is a lot to ask for that. So moving on. Unscrupulous Contractor. When this enters a battlefield, you may sack a creature. When you do, target player draws two life and loses two life. So not a bad card to play in kind of a black-white sacrifice deck just as a way to draw some cards, but I know what I'm taking here. It's the Longhorn Sharpshooter. This card's incredible. Three mana for a 3-3 reach creature. When this becomes plotted, it deals two damage to any target. So great creature on turn three for as a three mana 3-3 three, three reach creature, but on turn four, you plot this and you shock something? That's awesome. Also letting you set up for double spell turns. So Longhorn Sharpshooter is what I want. Roadrunner is a is an okay hasty beater. Skewer to Critics is a solid removal spell. Consuming Ashes, Holy Cow, Skullduggery are all fine. And I do like Patient Natural, Naturalist a lot, particularly if you are drafting the Black Green Self Mill deck. I think this is one of the best green commons in that archetype, but nothing beats the Longhorn Sharpshooter to start. And now we're moving on to this pack. Prismatic Vista, that's an exciting one. I would slam that if it was a real-life draft. But Indomitable Creativity, not a card you want to uh, take in Limited Magic. Vista is a decent mana fixer, but let's take a look at the rest of the pack here. We have Consuming Ashes as a very, very good removal spell. A Dead Eye Duelist as a way to just keep committing crimes over and over again. Hard Bristle Bandit is a nice mana fixer. Congregation Griff is excellent in the Green-White Saddle deck. There's Blood Hustler, which is really nice. Two mana, one, one. When you commit a crime, you put a counter on the Blood Hustler. Rakish Crew is pretty cool if um, you have a bunch of outlaws in your deck. There's also Gila Courser. Three mana for a 4-2. When it attacks while saddled, exile the top card of your library until the end of your next turn. Not just this turn, the end of your next turn, you can play that card. So I think I'm just going to go back-to-back -back red cards here. Certainly a lot of other options. I think you could take Consuming Ashes, Blood Hustler, Prismatic Vista, what have you. But I want to kind of try to cut off red after that first pick, Longhorn Sharpshooter. And I think this is just a really, really nice start to um, uh, any red deck. And then we'll see kind of what the rest of the pack show us here to figure out what our second color is going to be. Blue-red double spell seems cool. Let's take a look at this pack. This Town Ain't Big Enough is an excellent uh, spell. Um, just a really good tempo card. And also the two-mana effect is really, really nice. I do like Canyon Crab a lot as well. But I don't think they come... I don't think these cards are on the same level as Journey to Nowhere, which is the card that we're going to take. So maybe we can end up with a red-white aggressive deck here. Journey to Nowhere is premium, premium removal. Two mana, exile target creature. Everything that you want in a removal spell. Very, very happy with that. I do want to be the blue-red double spell type deck. Patient Naturalist. Phantom Interference is also fine, but I think Journey to Nowhere is simply the best card in that pack. So I'm going to try my best to read the signals and see where things go. That's another Congregation Griff, which is a little bit unfortunate with the two red cards that we've taken so far. I don't think we should be swapping to green if we can help it, right? Given that we have a we have two premium uncommons that are red right now. So I don't think I want to take the Griff. And if I don't want to take the Griff, what do I want to take? Well, Vengeful Townsfolk, I think, is a decent card if you're drafting kind of more of the black-white deck. But not something that you're necessarily looking for right away here in red-white. Uh, Mine Raider is an okay card. If you control another outlaw, create a treasure token. Right now, we have one outlaw. Or I can take take up the shield. I think take up the shield's a really, really good combat trick. So I'm going to try to take that and see if we can end up in maybe a very good red-white aggressive strategy. I imagine take up the shield's very good in red-white aggro. So we'll see if this is something that we can be looking to do. All right, moving on to this pack. Lively Dirge. 
Uh, it's like a reanimation spell. It's a little bit slow. I don't think it's particularly good. Skill Storm Summoner, however, is great. I think it's much, much better in black, red, specific, excuse me, green, red, when you can control a creature with power four or greater. But I do think it's early enough in the draft where I take this and try to make things work. I already have a Gila Courser. I have a take up the shield. I can put a counter on things, but I just think the upside here is big enough where I can take this. Wrangler of the Damned is awesome in the blue-white uh, uh, flash deck, but not don't want to take it here. Uh, notably, Savage Smash is in this pack, so red-green also could be open. Uh, this card's really, really good if you are red and green, but I'm going to take the Summoner here and see where things go. Notably, the, um, this definitely could be a deck where we end up red-green, but we'll see. Given that we have a four-power creature and a four-power matters card, Moving on to this pack, we have Demonic Ruckus. This was a card that LSV and Marshall were pretty high on. Uh, two mana, it could, Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus one, and has Menace and Trample. Plot, when this card's put into the graveyard, draw a card. So, the fact that this replaces itself when um, the creature dies is nice. And in red-white, you want to be really aggressive. This is also a way to turn my three power creatures into four power creatures for Scale Storm Summoner. Um, so, I do think I'm going to try out this Demonic Ruckus and see if an aggressive red-white deck is something I can do. All right, moving on to this pack. What do we have? Uh, Betrayal, Betrayal at the Vault is pretty interesting, but it costs six mana. For us, there's also Desperate Bloodseeker. I really like this card. Um, it just it commits a crime. It's a two-mana, two-two lifelink body. I think that's nice. Intimidation Campaign is also a really nice build around if you want to build the blue-black crime uh, payoff, crime matters deck, but... I want to try to draft a more aggressively slanted deck. I'm going to take the Mine, Ra Mine Raider here over Inventive Wingsmith because I don't think I'm going to be passing very often in this style of deck. I think the Inventive Wingsmith is really nice in like a, like a blue-white type deck. But I think for this deck, I'd rather have the Mine Raider here. I think there's a pretty decent shot that I can make a treasure with this uh, in this style of deck. Moving on to this pack, we have Riku of Many Paths. This is a really powerful effect. But you need to have a spree spell. And not only that, you need to be all three of these colors, which we're not, so I don't think we can take it. I really dislike Armored Ar Armadillo, so I don't think I'm going to take that either. Luxurious Locomotive also seems pretty bad. I'll take the Highway Robbery. Uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot of white. But the Highway Robbery is pretty nice if you're trying to set up double spell turns. So I'll take the Robbery and just see where things go. It does seem like red, uh, white is being cut off here. Um, so maybe we can end up in like a blue red deck or something along those lines. Maybe a red black deck. There's trick shot. I'm not the biggest fan of trick shot. I can take it as just like a an expensive removal spell. Like I said, I'm not seeing a whole lot of white, so maybe I can delve in the second color. But I guess I'll just take the trick shot because it's on color and it's red, and see what our second color needs to be. That's a late consuming ashes. So I feel like black might be open here. There was a skull duggery I could have taken over the trick shot, but I'm going to take the consuming ashes here and see if red black is where we need to be. Could also be red blue with the phantom interference tabling. Now ambush gigapede is pretty bad. I don't really like conduit pylons that much unless I'm splashing. So I guess I'll take phantom interference and uh, see where things go. And now where are we? We're like red. We're red something. Don't think it's going to be green. I'll take a stop cold, I guess. Not really the type of card I want in this type of deck. Ambush Gigapete is not especially good. I, ugh. They're both pretty bad. I'll take, I guess I'll take the Gigapede. All right, this is kind of rough. Like, I'm not sure where I should be here other than red. But there's a Tai Joaquin. This card is super cool. It's a two mana, two, three. Whenever a source you control deals non-combat damage to a creature equal to that creature's toughness, draw a card. So if you deal exactly enough damage to a creature with a burn spell, you get to draw a card. And if you burn your opponent, you can also like deal a punch, a ton of damage to them as well. So I want to try this card. A Prickly Pear is the perfectly safe card to take out of this pack. But look, I'm a sucker for rares. And, wanna, I, and I want to try this card. I want to try Tai Joaquin. It's a really, really solid two mana card. And uh, I guess we're just going to be fighting people for white. <laughs> All right, this pack has Abrupt Decay, Spinewood Armadillo, which is a really good creature. Six mana for a 6-6 six, six Reach, Ward 3. And for two mana, you can look for a basic land or, an, or a desert and gain three life. That card is really, really nice. But I think I'm going to take this Claim Jumper. Three mana for a 3-3 three, three Vigilance creature. 
When it enters a battlefield, if an opponent controls more land than you, search your library for a planes card and put it into the battlefield tapped. Then an if an opponent has more lands than you, repeat this process once. So basically, if you're on the draw, turn four, you play this, you get an extra land. It's pretty sweet. Nothing else in this pack for us in particular. So let's take the claim jumper here and uh, see if we can draft maybe a uh, like an aggressive red-white deck here. But this pack... Pariah is not really something that I want for this type of deck, so I'm not going to take it here. I don't really like Highway Robbery in a red-white aggro deck, so not don't want to take it here. So pretty weak pack. I could take Steer Clear. Red-white will have some mounts. I do have the Courser already, so it's a very, very cheap way to kill something, but I do need to pick up other mounts. There's also Servant of the Stinger, which is really nice if I end up a black-red deck, but my only black card here is Consuming Ashes, so I'm just going to... Oh, Steer Clear, by the way, works with Taiwa Keen, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's take the Steer Clear. It's a really early Steer Clear, by the way. I do recognize this. Moving on to this pack, we have Frontier Seeker, which I do like. When it enters a battlefield, look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a mount, cre or mount creature card or a planes from among them and put it into your hand. I think I'm going to take that over the second Demonic Ruckus. I think there's just like a ceiling to how many of these types of cards that you want to play in your deck. Um, oh, this also works with non-combat damage. This also works with Longhorn Sharpshooter, by the way, which is really nice. So yeah, I'm going to take Frontier Seeker here. I just need another two drop. I think this is a very, very good two drop for this type of deck. And I'm going to split it up like this just so we have a better sense for where things are going to be on the mana curve. All right, moving on here. Um... Ariat's Lullaby is not really the type of creature I like in red-white specifically, but what else am I going to take here, right? Like, Boombox is just way too slow. Slick Sequence is a cool card, but not something I'm interested in with what I have right now. I don't think I want to play two copies of Trick Shot. So I guess I just take the Ariat's Lullaby and hope I don't have to play it in my deck. Let's just kind of put it off to the side here. Now we have Lava Spur Boots. Versus Quick Draw. This is a pretty mediocre combat trick. Uh, I don't want a second copy of Ariat's Lullaby. So this could be an instance where I try the Lava Spur Boots. I imagine in Red White this card can be quite nice. It's also a nice way to turn my 3 power creatures into 4 power creatures with the Scale Storm Summoner. So let's take the uh, Lava Spur Boots here. And moving on, what do we have? I really need cheap creatures. So I feel like I I'd be shocked if I don't take the Roadrunner here. Ferocification is pretty nice. At the beginning of your combat, target creature gets plus two, plus zero, or menace and haste. But my spell count right now is pretty high, and my creature count is pretty low. So I just think I want a two mana, two, two haste card for my deck. So we'll go ahead and take the Roadrunner. Ooh, that's a second Scale Storm Summoner. I'm really excited about that. Now, this is much, much better in red green. But like I said, my spell count is high. I think Getaway Glamour is. A pretty good removal spell, but we have uh, Journey to Nowhere, take up the shield, and steer clear already. I want to take another creature for my deck. Moving on to this pack, we have... Wow, that's a late Geyser Drake, a key to the vault. Bovine Intervention, I don't like as a removal spell. And I don't really like Highway Robbery in this type of deck. I'll take the Stagecoach Security. This is a filler type card. Hopefully, I don't have to play it. I do want to try the Lava Spur Boot, so I'm not going to put it into my sideboard. So, Ariat's Lullaby and Stagecoach uh, Security are going to be cards that I just have as potential filler cards for this deck. Take a Pariah here for the sideboard. I don't think I want a Gold Pan. I don't think I want a Pariah either, to be honest. We'll take a Sterling Supplier, another filler level card. Although, there is a little more merit to playing a card like this because I want to create four power creatures with the um, Scale Storm Summoner. So I think I like it better than the Stagecoach Security, unless I really am looking to go wide. Ooh, Brazen Borrower, that's really cool. Uh, but we can't take it, of course. This is excellent, excellent card to play in your blue-red decks. There's also Kellen the Kid, which is quite nice if you have the mana to play it. Three mana for a 3-3 three, three Flying Lifelinker. If you cast a Plot Spell, uh, you can play another cheap spell for free, basically. Honestly, this pack is horrific for us. We're going to just take a Reckless Lackey. I mean, I guess in our deck specifically, Reckless Lackey is pretty good. So I'll take it, but not the most exciting first pick. 
But of course, for us, we're happy to play it. Ooh, Longhorn Sharpshooter number two. Come on down. Caustic Bronco is also a great card. We could have certainly been red black. But I think even if I was red black, I still probably take the Longhorn Sharpshooter here over the Caustic Bronco, I think. Um, Terminal Agony is an okay removal spell. I don't know how often you can madness this out. I guess it's pretty cool with uh, Highway Robbery when you plot this, right? So that's a nice little combo, but I'm going to take Sharpshooter number two here and be pretty happy about it. Lassoed by the Law. Come on down. This is premium, premium removal. When it enters a battlefield, exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls, and you get a 1-1 red mercenary token that taps to uh, pump things if you want. Uh, these mercenaries are also a great way to pump things to trigger your Sealstorm Summoner. I do like Prickly Pear a lot, but I do think Lassoed by the Law is better. It's a 4-mana 1-1 one, one that exiles a creature. Like, you can't really go wrong with that. All right. So this deck's looking okay. I would really like to uh, pick up more cheap things for the mana curve. If I can get it. But I mean, I'm not going to complain about a Prosperity Tycoon. 4-mana for a 4-2 ETB. Make a 1-1 one, one red mercenary token. Uh, ta uh, and then... So this is a 4-power creature. Uh, which is really great with the Double Scale Storm Summoner. And it makes a token, which is really nice. Trained Erinx is also really good because it's a two-mana card. But I just think with Double Scale Storm Summoner, I really want the Tycoon. And I do think the Tycoon is a better card than the Erinx. I did say I want twos, but not over a premium card like the Tycoon here. Yeah, I think this card is just simply too good with the uh, Scale Storm Summoner as well. What do you think about the Lava Spur Boots? Let me know. I'm curious on this. All right, uh, I see a Roadrunner. I think I'm just going to take it here. Sterling Keykeeper is okay. It's pretty expensive. I do like Ride Down as a combat trick, but I'm more interested in two mana cards. So let's take just the two mana 2-2 two -two Haster and beat people down. I would like more... Um, I guess I want Mounts for the Seeker. I do want uh, cheap... I do want cheap, like Pirate. Like Reckless Lackey is great with the Rider, but I would like more ways to be able to make treasures here if possible. I'm not a big fan of Outlaw. Like, Outlaw Medic doesn't seem at its best in this type of deck. Whereas, Explosive Derailment is a premium removal spell. So I'm going to take the Derailment here. It also works. I think I want more burn spell removal with Tai Joaquin. So I'll take the Derailment there. What do we have in the sideboard? Let's. I guess I shouldn't just completely hide these cards. Um, and then there's a Trick Shot here as well. All right, what do we have here? It looks like we're definitely fighting somebody for the white aggressive cards, <laughs> for sure. Uh, not, I mean, absolutely nothing for us here. I'm not going to play fling. I don't need another quick draw. I'm just going to rare draft. Got to fill up our coffers, right? All right. Here we have... I guess I'm just going to take this. I Like, I'm never making this fly. That's a late Archmage's Newt. Uh, and a Bloodseeker, and wow, a lot of good blue cards here at the end, but I'm just going to take this to have a two-mana card in my deck. We'll see how it, like, I know this card's very good in a more defensively slanted deck. Yeah, blue-red, blue-red was where we needed to be. Look, I'm still learning to read the signals here, and uh, look, it did feel like white was not where we needed to be, but in pack two, we saw a bunch of white, and I just took the cards, but I recognize that blue-red definitely was the color combination we needed to be for this deck. Ooh, Getaway Glamour Tabling. I do like this card. Well, Jailbreak Scheme with three cards left is kind of criminal. And I think this is just our deck here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. This looks to be our deck, and it still looks fine. Still looks fine. Like Frontier Seeker, you're just always playing in your decks. Um, yeah. And I like this split here. We're not playing the Lullaby, Stagecoach Security. Uh, trick shot, I suppose, is another consideration. Let's take a look at our curve. It looks okay. Sterling Supplier, like I said, is kind of our one top end card that I'm playing over the other card, the plot 4-5. Is it a 4-5 or a 4-4? I just think having a flyer gives you a little bit of reach, and this works just better with Scale Storm Summoner. Just, you know, we have Lava Spur Boots. We have Lava Spur Boots and the Demonic Ruckus, and the Sterling Supplier as additional ways to put plus one, plus one counters on the Summoner or other three power creatures um, to make sure that this triggers and gets us dinosaurs. And then along with this Prosperity Tycoon. So 
yeah, no, this looks solid. Let's see how this uh, how this does. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15 creatures and a bunch of decent spells. All right. Red, white, aggro. Let's see how this goes. All right. Round one. Keeping this. We got the turn one, Reckless Lackey. I'm in for that. Let's beat down. Ooh, we can put some Lava Spur boots on it next turn too. This thing gives haste. All right. Blue, red, Razzle, Dazzler. All right. I could use take up the shield, but I'm just gonna... Look, 2-2 two, two first strike seems pretty good turn 2, right? You're gonna hear the nice refreshing sound of a soda being opened. There you go. Alright, what do I want to do? I have a take up the shield, which I can use to attack through the drake. I can also play Scalestorm Summoner, although I kind of want to play that turn four and equip the boots. Yeah. All right. Two damage in, and yeah, actually... They have three mana available. Hmm. Yeah, let's play the Courser. This is also a nice thing to kind of haste in. Yeah, I don't actually know. I don't actually know what was the better thing to play this turn. But I, I think making a 3-1 just has more value than drawing a card. We have plenty of things to cast. But really great uh, setup here in the beginning. Razzle Dazzler plus Geyser Drake. They might just pass. That's kind of scary. That's very scary. I do need to be mindful of the counterspell that makes a 2-2. Two -two. I do need to be mindful of that. Um, I don't know that they can double spell this turn. I want to keep up, take up the shield. I assume I want to saddle. Or I can just attack with both. I just feel like it's really... Well, I do have take up the shield, right? That is something that I have. All right. Let's saddle. You have to do it at sorcery speed, so. Okay, this is okay. Because we have take up the shield. Not the best use of our mana, but... I think it's still fine, because they're going to target the Courser, and being able to draw an extra card seems quite nice. Okay. Ooh. Until the end of your next turn. Okay, that's very important. And then I'm going to actually move the boots over to the Courser. Just to make it harder to kill. And can I plot this? We'll find out. <laughs> Like, I don't know if I can plot the Longhorn Sharpshooter. I mean, if not, I'll just play it. It's fine. Slick Shot Vault Buster. They're going to double spell. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. It looks like I have to play it. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I guess putting the boots on this isn't especially good. Right, because that doesn't do anything. So let's saddle. Okay. Do you want to take six or do you want to chump? They're going to chump. All right, I mean, we, we have a nice board here. Wow, that's... Okay. Does this go to the face? Any target. That's really nice. A slick shot? Sure. Wow, that... <laughs> Their deck likes to block, I'm just gonna say. Their deck really likes to block. Oh man, they almost attacked into my sharpshooter. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. All right. So this is a pretty pivotal turn. How do I want to go? I just don't have great attacks right now, so I feel like I just need to wait. Um, I can certainly attack with the Courser. I don't know that attacking with the Scalestorm Summoner does anything. Protection from Coyote. Are you Coyotes? You're not. All right. Hey, let's just keep getting ahead on cards, right? It's just... Claim Jumper. Okay. That's not going to find us extra lands, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm still just going to play it as a 3-3. Three, three. The thing is, look, the, the Courser has drawn us three cards. That's insane, right? Like, I just want to clear the way here, play a bunch of creatures, and then on the following turn, I can cast Journey to Nowhere and then just get in for a really big attack. Wow. That's not enough, right? Okay. All right. Ooh, Slickshot Vault Buster gets the attack. Okay. What do we want to do? I think I want to kill the Vault Buster. And do we just attack with everything? They're at four? Yeah, sure. I mean, with the Glamour... Okay, I think they're just like, okay. <laughs> Man, this, this Gila Courser... Is it Gila Courser? Gila Courser? That thing was awesome. It got us a lot of value. Okay. Oh no, is Red White Beats going to be the best thing? Is it? Is it? We'll find out. Alrighty. Round two, what do we have? Four lands, no two drop. We have a Demonic Ruckus, Mind Raider, and Scalestorm Summoner. If you watch me draft, you know I dislike mulliganing. So I have two mountains, two planes, and plays on turn three. So I will keep this and hope to draw a two drop. And look, we drew a two drop. A really good one, too. Hard Bristle Bandit, all right. I should have plotted this. I don't know what I was thinking. I missed? Oh, missing on Frontier Seeker feels so bad. Oh, man. That's, that's rough. Come on. I've had too many opponents play their, like, gold card early. <laughs> Oh, God. What does this do? Create a token that's a copy of target token you control. Sure. Dem I can put Demonic uh, Ruckus on my summoner. Well, I'm just hoping they don't have a removal spell. I'm kind of all in on my Scalestorm summoner here. Congregation Griff, okay. Are they going to attack me? Another Hard Bristle Bandit. They did not attack me. That's unfortunate. Okay. Um, let's see. I mean, I can still just make a 3-1 and trade this for something, right? Is that worth... Probably.
It would kill their... Oh, wow. I actually did not expect that. I thought they were going to, like, double block with Gear Red and Congregation Griff. And now they're plotting something? Naya plot? Interesting. Yeah, green-white splashing brimstone roundup. Huh. They didn't saddle this. So if they can generate a token of some kind, like this one, they can... Oh my god. Non-token have created a token that's copied target printing and control. That... So when this makes a token, they can make four tokens? Is that how that works? Wow. So I kind of just want to kill this. I just don't know what combat trick they can have here. Like, they definitely have something. I mean, we'll just do this, I guess. Actually, we'll do, we'll do this. All right, what is your combat trick? Ride down, okay. I mean, we could have double blocked. I just had no idea what they had. Well, that was a lot of damage. And we drew like a gazillion lands in a row, which is not ideal. Actual gazillion. We kept a four lander. Didn't this happen the other day? Four lands, three spells, then four lands. Clearly should be playing 16 lands. I mean, this gets us a land most of the time. Hey, this is a lot of pressure. All right, I mean, Scalestorm Summoner is doing its thing. I can't put any blame on the Summoner. All right, so they're gonna make three tokens. Is that is that what how this Thunder Lasso? Okay. But all of their creatures, of course, get tapped. We'll see what happens. I don't know why they didn't attach it to the Griff. Making a 2-5 lifelinker seems very nice. Okay. Um, Do we draw something that turn? Wait, did we draw something that turn? Four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Now we are at 10 life. They're at 10 as well. I, another land, come on. That's super disappointing. We have one play and one play only. <sighs> Nine lands and we missed on Frontier Seeker. Complain, complain, complain. I'm just going to click on my rock and my opponent's rock. I feel like they should have just killed the summoner a long time ago. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's another land. I mean, they're at three life. It's just... I mean, just any action, right? Just any action. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. They just drew, make a 3-3, three, three, and then they have gear ed in play? To make a bunch of three threes? Is that it might is that what happened? Oh my that's that's ridiculous. Holy cow. That's insane. They just drew four three threes. That's unreal. Oh my goodness. Yeah, 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 yeah. What they should have done is move the Thunder Lasso to the Gear Red 
to make it to make a four four, and then they would have had four four fours. I mean, we're still super duper dead, but wait, they don't want to make extra creatures. What does it say? You would rather hit me for two here. They have a thunder lasso as well. They're at five. All right, can we draw like any relevant like a removal spell? Like a removal spell and we actually win here. Journey to Nowhere, the lasso. Just anything. Claim Jumper, that doesn't do anything. Why did they move the lasso? All right. They're going to go to one. Man. All right, please whiff. Just one turn. Come on, just one turn. Okay. Okay. They're at eight. I'm at one. We have the Scalestorm Summoner. I mean, the only reason we're in this is that the, the Scalestorm Summoner has created like four dinosaurs <laughs> or something like that. All right. They don't have a lethal attack. The Gila Courser. Okay. This has Vigilance. Um, the, the thing is that their thing has lifelink, so it's just not really great. I'm going to kill this flyer, I think. All right, let's draw a card. Ooh, okay. All right, next turn we can start saddling and drawing some cards. We might have some hope here. Oh, they drew a land. Oh, wait, they're dead on board. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we managed to get there. I, I feel like they could have probably used that gear a little bit better and then maybe move around the lasso as well. That's an equipment, right? But uh, it is what it is. And we are 2-0, 2-0, oh. oh. keep it going. Boros beats. MKM style. No, a Bor the Boros beats in this seems way more tame compared to MKM Boros, to be fair. <sighs> Three mountains, resilient roadrunner, and a bunch of spells that we can't really play. We're on the draw. I'm going to mulligan. And, and now three planes. Oh my gosh. This is gross. Oh, God. I don't want to go to five. I mean, I can't really play anything. Well, I could draw a three drop. I'll do that. I, I know the supplier is good with the summoner, but like this is assuming that I draw like, um, if I draw like, like three a three mana white creature, right? Like I feel like bottoming a land is a little bit greedy there. We drew the mountain, which is awesome. Oh, I wonder if that's the vista from our draft. No, there's too many drafts happening right now. I, it can't be. But we drew a back-to-back -back lands here, so now the supplier does seem like it would have been awesome. But I don't know. What do you do there? Do you bottom a land? Possibly. I don't think it's crazy to bottom a land there. Please, yeah. Just no land here for us. Of course. Tilt. It's okay. We're still 2-0, oh, right? We're still 2-0. Oh. I need to get these lands. These are some pretty cool lands. My my basic land game, I know, is not ideal. Alright, it looks like they drafted a sweet, like, Abzan deck here. Bristly Bill. This card's an A. Basically, if it's a green rare and it's in your deck, it's an A. Ooh, Claim Jumper. Hmm. Can't be blocked by Coyotes. Hmm. 
If they double block, I'll use the uh, derailment. Like, I kind of want to kill the green blade anyways. I don't see the point of getting like an extra land. So, whatever. I'd rather be able to play like a two drop next turn if I draw it. Can I have you back please? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ooh. I hope they play the squirrel card. The make squirrels card. I know we would get destroyed by it, but I would appreciate it. Our opponent has a cl oh, double ankle biter. Ouch. All right, let's go ahead and fetch a planes. Play this. Red, I don't actually know. But we have lots of lands. I wonder what kind of flood protection this format has. It seems to have a little bit less, right? In MKM, you had a lot of those disguise creatures. So like even in red, white, you can play like Rift Burst Hellions and stuff. And here, that's not the case. I need to actually go back and look at my mana curve. I just have no idea. All right, that I don't care about. Oh, they get to commit a crime, sure. Rambling pot, okay. All right. Prosperity, Prosperity Tycoon was a good draw. I just want to, I mean, this ankle biter is going to get me and I just want to clear up the board here, so... Balancing Patient Naturalist with the Rambling Possum is pretty cool. Prosperity Tycoon. You can sack any token, so I can actually sack, like, this dinosaur if I really wanted to. All right, what you got? Man, that squirrel card. One, two, three, four, five, six tokens. It's like make a 2-1 for each creature in your graveyard. Any like black-green payoff card and it's going to be really hard for us to win. All right. I do like the fact that they're attacking with like the Raven and getting in points of damage where they can. Spinewood's Paladin. Very, very good against red-white. All righty. What do we want to do? Land was not an ideal draw step, Peter, for us. Yeah, this was just not ideal. All right. I'd rather not attack. They'll, they can just take it and hit me for a lot more. They're at a much higher life total than we are. So. Arena needs to give us some, some better openers with this deck. I'm really waiting for the payoff card because they have like all the setup cards like ankle biters to go into the yard to go at the naturalist. So I want like, there's a lot of really great, like one thing that I thought, I think they did really well in this format is just the signpost uncommons are just incredible. Just kind of hoping here. All right. Please make two ones. Come on, it's time. I just want my opponent to do the sweet thing. Okay, well, that was a sweet thing. They're at 20 life, though. So what you really want to do with this, especially when you're this far ahead, just put a land on top of my library. I don't know if they knew that that's something you can do, but just put a land on top of my library and then fetch for a creature, and I'm just, like, super-duper dead. But... I'm still super duper dead here, let's be real. All right, land number 10 is a go. Vraska the Silencer. Solid creature, three mana, three, three death touch. When something dies, you get a treasure. 
Or my creature turns into a treasure or something like that. Oh, you get the 1-1. One, one. Okay. See? These are things that I'm still learning about. Like, obviously we were dead, but just learning all the mechanics and what all the rares do. Note to self, do not block, do not make trades with Vraska when you have ETB uh, token makers. All right? Put it in the old, put it in the old bank. All right, two and one with Boros. We are on the play and uh, got a lot of spells. Not enough creatures, but hey, I'll keep this. We got Resilient Roadrunner turn two and uh, beep, beep, right? Look, this is just, um, whatchamacallit, it's uh, steer clear. All right, you get a you get a quick little mute there, friend. But yeah, we have the sharpshooter, which uh, I mean, ideally, I want to plot this if possible. Um, hmm. I wonder if they're willing to trade. They're green white. This is like the world's most obvious steer clear. <laughs> oh, man. Really would like a land here. Maybe I should have just equipped the boots and offered the trade. The thing is, there's a chance they miss here, right? Yeah, they missed. Will they attack? They might not. As, like I said, given that they also cast the steer clear, yeah, it's fine. Actually, I should kill this. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, do I want to kill that? No, let's kill this. Like, I can kill their mount creature, and I want to get in for damage. This thing could be annoying. All right. Um, let's play this. Let's give it haste. Um, they have two mana available, so they could have that, like... They kind of have a combat trick. So I kind of want to keep up explosive derailment. So I'm just going to attack here. They're splashing quill charger, huh? I'm going to keep up derailment here. I will take some damage if they attack me with the quill charger. Um, but we'll see what they do. This also kills artifacts, although I don't know how relevant that's going to be. Yeah, maybe I should have killed the Stable Master. A lot of things that we're figuring out here. It's pretty tough because we're kind of the ones that's behind on board here, so it's like... There's a lot of pressure on me to kill what they have. Oh, Outlaw Medic is annoying. Okay. Um, what do I want to kill? Do I want to kill Wily Duke or the Quilled Charger? Let's kill Wily Duke. Ooh, this gets me a land. Oh, I wait, I can actually just move this, right? Yeah.
Still learning what Lava Spur Boots does. It's a big attack. I mean, it's possible that our opponent just wants to block the Outlaw Medic on the Claim Jumper just to draw a card and gain a life. I can definitely see that being aligned. Like, what else is this Medic going to do? It's not really keeping my other things at bay. Alright, they made sense. They blocked the Claim Jumper. But at least for us, we just, hey, we, we got a blocker out of the way. And it didn't really cost us much. This Quill Charger does kind of hit pretty hard. Well, no, this Steer Clear seems pretty bad. Like, I wanted to play it because I had Tai Waikin, but my deck doesn't have a lot of mounts. So I think for that reason, I should probably just not play it. I'm not going to block and leave myself vulnerable to, like, a combat trick. Um, they didn't saddle. So they were happy with this trade, even. They have three cards in hand. I mean, we have some pretty decent attackers. Ooh, Congregation Griff is very good. And another Quill Charger. Yeah, man, I, I should have killed the Stable Master. Oh, well. Oh, Journey to Nowhere. That's incredible. All right. So how do we want to do this? Probably want to kill the... Wow, that thing gets huge. All right. Um, I think that was the correct line. Oh, this thing has Vigilance. I mean, if they have a removal spell, we die, but this gets in for the most amount of damage while I still have a Vigilance creature. Oh, no! Oh, no, if they play another creature and they saddle, then we do die. Oh, yeah. I'm hoping they just block. If they play a creature, because they both have Menace. I forgot about the Menace. But I just feel like I needed to make an aggressive attack this turn anyways. But we'll see. And Steer Clear wouldn't have killed anything. Alright, so if they just play any creature, we're dead. Yeah, that, that, that was a mistake. Had we had the Demonic Ruckus earlier, would that have changed something? Yeah, I, I needed to plot this Demonic Ruckus turn one, so... Definitely a lot of little things that I could be doing better here. Um, definitely better things. Like, I sh probably should have killed a Stable Master. And uh, our opponent found the line. All right. It's frustrating. Definitely frustrating. But lots of mistakes are expected to be made. As we learn this format, right? As we learn this format and uh, just figure out the sequencing. Ooh, Wizards Employee. All right. All right, Paul. Get it together. Play well. Okay. Let's play the Roadrunner. Beat down. The Summoner, we don't have a way to pump just yet. Silver Deputy, okay. This is like a if you really need a desert or you're playing like some crazy multicolored jank deck, you play it. All right, we'll play the Summoner because next turn we can play the Courser. Does it count? What is this? Oh, it is a Mercenary, okay. Ooh. Actually, hold on. What do I what do I actually want to do here? Cuz I can kill this 3-2, but I drew steer clear. So I think I just play the courser and attack. Make a thing and then steer clear so I can attack again. Right? That seems awesome. Because now next turn um, 
yeah, next turn I can attack again with the Scale Storm Summoner. Now, the downside of this is I used a one mana way to deal four damage to something. We'll see. If they play something big this turn, it might be pretty rough. Like a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, 1-2 is just fine. 1-2 is just fine. All right. Three mana, Scorching Shot, Scale Storm Summoner is down, and they get to commit a crime. Sure. All right. What do we do? What do we do? Um, we can kill the Raven. I think I'm interested in the killing the Raven because that allows me to continue attacking with the Corsair. Did we hit a land? Nice. This Corsair has been amazing, by the way. Prickly Pear, all right. And Deadeye Duelist, sure. Um, well, I certainly don't want to trade my Dinosaur for their 1-1. One, one. This is probably going to trade with Prickly Pear. We'll see what we hit. Scale Storm Summoner. All right. Although we don't have any four power creature here, unfortunately. Let's play it. All right. Well, we have a huge board. Another prickly, prickly pear is a good magic card. Oh, lassoed by the law. That's interesting. It doesn't have haste, right? No. I mean, I feel like I still just use this. All right. Um... Do I want to attack with this? Yeah, let's just let's just attack. I don't know like how this is getting much better. All right, and Outlaw Medic. Next turn, we can use this Mercenary to pump the Scale Storm Summoner and make a Dinosaur if we need. It's a Vault Plunderer, okay. Good at trading with this 3-3 that's in play. All right. So nice. That was just a really solid draw from our part. So let's keep this going. Actually, let me see if there's something I want to play here over the steer clear. Like trick shot, maybe? Six damage to something and two damage to up to one target token. Like how many mounts do I have? I think I just have the one. Yeah, I think steer clear is probably... Let's just play like... All right, let's, let's play a trick shot at the top of our curve. I want to just try it. Like, being able to have a way to, like, nab a random token seems pretty good. And then also just a, a thing to kill something big. Although I have Getaway Gleamer. So maybe not. Maybe it is the 4-5. Yeah, maybe it is the 4-5. Alright, so we are on the draw. So this Claim Jumper can... And can be very good for us, potentially. Just not going to play a turn three, of course. We'll go. Oh, we'll start with the Scale Storm Summoner. Oh, that's an artifact. I don't know if I'm going to get to the point where I get to do this, but it's definitely exciting. Definitely exciting. 
All right. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to play this. I mean, there's a pretty good chance that it dies, but if it doesn't, then it's great. Like, I'd rather do that than just play, like, a Claim Jumper. Alternatively, I could have kept up the derailment, but... All right, Binding Negotiation. What did they just get to take anything? That's fine. Our hand is loaded, so I don't really care what they take. Like, I have two removal spells. They, they might just take Claim Jumper. All right. And Forsaken Miner, okay. Hey, this is really good for us. So I believe what I want to do is equip this. Wait, hold on. Uh, I want to do this. Because it gives it menace. And then what I want to do is keep up the Glamour to protect this. Yeah, I like this. Exile target non-token creature, return to battlefield under control at the beginning. Yeah. So this saves it from being uh, dealt with by a removal spell. I can blink my creature. So let's do that. And I still draw the card off the Ruckus, which is nice. Ooh, another Summoner. That's awesome. We'll take two. So they have three mana available. But what if I do this? Oh, yes! <laughs> All the dinos! Dino overload! Yes! These booties doing some work. We have 12 power on board. Three tokens from our three drop. That's awesome. Yeah, this card is great. Just because of the mercenary. They're just like a... It's just not hard to make something... To turn something from a three power creature to a four power creature, right? With the mercenaries, ways to put plus one, plus one counters on things. There's just a lot that exists. So, yeah, I, I think that card is just great. It's fantastic. Like, if you ever make two tokens out of it... It's so hard for the opponent to come back. Okay. What do we have here? We have a turn to journey to nowhere with the Courser and then a Mine Raider. Sure, we'll keep this. We'll play the Mirage Mesa for red. All right. Journey to Nowhere, gonna go straight for that Vile Smasher, slow them down. So we kept, what, four lands and three spells. Desperate Bloodseeker is very good. Targeting themselves, milled another blood, Desperate Bloodseeker. Let's play the Courser, we drew three lands in a row. No more please, no more please. They're red-black though, so they have a removal spell, so... Yeah, we're in trouble. Uh, Scale Storm Summoner is nice. Let's play that. Now, if we can find a way to pump this, that would be excellent. Mine Raider from the opponent. Is this a... Oh, it's a vampire. Okay. All right. Some way to pump this. Nope, that's a land. All right, knock and attack. Let's play Mine Raider and pass. I just kind of want to trade everything right now just because I don't have anything else going on. All right, they missed a land drop, so Silver Deputy is going to put a land on top. I really, really need a way to make Scale Storm Summoner bigger. How about another land? Man, this was a... You know, I'm just going to say this... It just, I'm going to say this is on the unlucky end of the spectrum just in terms of our draws with this deck. It's been pretty rough, you know? And now we're probably just dead. Just... I guess I should have re-examined just like how many lands I need to play here, but we've been getting flooded a lot.
I need like a a rummage effect. We're definitely blocking here just to draw a card and find something relevant. And the thing is our red white deck's not really great at coming from coming back from behind. And our opponent like uh our opponent's mana screwed and we're flooded. So usually screw beats flood if the game goes long. Ooh, Magda and another land. Ay ay ay. Okay. All right, 10 lands. Give me one more land. Whenever you commit a crime. Oh, and a sharpshooter. Yeah, we're, we're super dead. Super dead, unfortunately. But, you know, this deck felt okay. It felt solid. My red cards were good. The Courser was incredible. Our opponent playing very tight here with the way that they're tapping their mana. Good job. And, oh, at the very least, I'm going to get some sick value here. <laughs> Take that. Yeah, explosive derailment. Go, go. I just need like three more two for ones, and this is easy game. I mean, I'm at five. There are 36, and they have four permanents, and I have 11 lands in play. I think this is close. Now we're going to hit a mount. I did say a lot of two for ones. So we're going to hit a mount here. Now we're going to hit a planes, and uh, yeah, we're dead. But that is the nature of the beast. That is Magic the Gathering, and um, it's all good. It happens to us, and it'll happen to others. So let me just make sure this ranking thing actually works. Like, have we been climbing up? We are. It's bugged right now because the arena, arena just came out. The set just came out. So we are now up to Platinum 3. Um, but let's take a look at our deck, which right now, no trophy so far. So a bit of a rough start, I must say, just because I would expect to get more trophies early on. Well, but um, yeah, a little rough uh, to start. Now, again, this was definitely a case where I did not read the signals properly, right? I just kind of wanted to move into a certain color combination and I just did not give myself the opportunity to uh, go into the better color combination. And in this instance, that was certainly red-blue. I mean, if you look at my white cards, they were fine, right? I had a Journey to Nowhere. I had to take up the Shield, Claim Jumper, a Lassoed by the Law, and Prosperity Tycoon. But I got most of those cards in pack two. But I think the deck was fine. Um, and I think this deck could have certainly done better if uh, if just, honestly, if we just drew better. Like, it, it, this was just definitely a case where um, uh, we just had a lot of weird hands. We mulliganed a bunch and, you know, you just kind of get flooded. One thing that I will say about this format, though, and like I said, this could have been a 16 land deck. It's just, uh, there's just not as much flood protection, at least when I'm this red-white deck. I just didn't feel like I had good flood protection. So uh, for that reason, maybe I do need to play some of those expensive plot cards because it's something that you can play earlier or in the late game, just because I felt like I just kind of ran out of gas in a lot of instances. But when you draw 10 to 11 lands, that of course also happens. But hey, good curve. Um, some standouts here. Scalestorm Summoner was amazing. Was pretty easy to get make three ones. Uh, the Longhorn Sharpshooter obviously was good. The Gila Courser did a ton of work, drew us a bunch of cards. Claim Jumper was just all right. Like every now and then you get a land, but it's not super great. But um, yeah, I mean, I just want to say Scale Summoner, very, very high in my estimation. Really, really like this card. And we're getting a little bit better. I got a couple of three threes and now we're at a four three. So the next one, that's when the trophy is coming. Anyways, Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Feel free to hit the like or subscribe button for more daily videos just like this. If you've enjoyed this content and wanted to support the channel in another way, I did launch a Patreon channel. The link to the Patreon is in the description below. Shout out to all the current patrons. I really do appreciate your support as it allows me to continue making content like this on a daily basis. Lots of stuff to talk about in the Discord too if you join the Patreon. Anyways, that's it for me for now. But I will catch you tomorrow.